This is the uh, Wellhouse uh, control panel. It's the Sargent EC700 model. As you can see, it's blank at the moment. Touch anywhere on the screen and it illuminates. Power it on up here. It goes blue when it's on. And then you can use these uh, buttons on the right to control the lighting circuit. On the right, you've got your roof light, your awning light, and your cabinet lights uh, at the lower edge and upper edge of the kitchen worktop. Down here at the bottom is settings, don't worry about that one. You can also, when these controls are active, the switches on the uh, cabinet are active. I'll just switch those off. Over on the left hand side, water pump. It's giving us a warning because uh, this vehicle's just been tested as part of PDI, so it hasn't got any water in, so we'll just OK that. Don't need to worry about that. Going to here, it gives us our levels. As I said, this vehicle's just been tested for PDI, so it's, at, it's got no fresh water, it needs topping up, but its waste tank uh, is full because it's had a full test of water through it. If you press the home button, you'll go back to the main uh, menu. And at the bottom, if you press that, this gives you your current battery levels. So the voltage of your leisure battery, your vehicle battery, the mains current and the solar current. So as you can see at the moment, we've got uh, somewhere between three and one and a half amps uh, of solar coming in. Solar is indicated by this um, sun at the top of the screen. When you're plugged into mains hookup, you'll get a lightning bolt indicating you're plugged in. So to go back from this screen, press the home button again. Um, one thing that um, you do need to be aware of, if you go into settings, on this screen, the active battery select needs to be set to smart. That is what uh, you're drawing power from. So in this case, it's a leisure battery. It always really needs to be set on leisure battery. The reason there's the um, vehicle battery in there is that you can manually select it if for some reason your leisure battery goes flat. But for the vast majority of the time, leave it on the smart setting. You don't need to do anything with that. Fit and forget. On the solar battery uh, side of things, at the moment, that's also set on smart. It always needs to have the blue smart illuminated and it will automatically charge your leisure battery and your vehicle battery as and when um, they need charge. So that automatically monitors it. So on this screen, both set on blue smart setting. There's an additional point to make here. Let's press it on again. The When your solar um, panel, uh, when you're plugged into, sorry, mains hookup, the solar panel will automatically charge your vehicle battery and prioritise that because obviously the charging system is plugged into the mains and charging at the leisure battery so it doesn't need solar going into it as well so the spare solar goes into charging your, your vehicle battery also in the settings uh, menu you've got various options for your uh, lights your dimming uh, controls right this one um, just controls the actual this actual screen itself so how long it stays on for before it times out uh, how bright it's lit that kind of thing um, Wellhouse have already preset that, so you shouldn't need to uh, worry about that. Uh, again, time and date is already um, preset by Wellhouse. Uh, and we're back round to the battery and solar select. So leave them both on blue, you'll be fine. And then back to the home page. And uh, there we are. And to switch the system off, so you want to leave the vehicle, you don't want any, uh, anything left on, just press that. The only other thing that's worth mentioning while we're in this part of the vehicle is this switch here. That is your isolator switch for the fridge. So as long as your uh, yellow light is on, your fridge is on. So don't think that's a light switch and accidentally switch it off because you'll have cold beer, warm beer. If you forget to switch the system off, um, it's not a disaster um, because as soon as you fire up the vehicle ignition it will automatically go off and then when you get back on site you can just switch it back on again. So lazy people don't need to worry about it, you can just drive off. Right. Uh, it's worth noting that in the cabinet there's a solar uh, charge controller um, which only appears to be wired into one battery. 
that's as it's meant to be. It does connect to two batteries, but it does it downstream of this solar controller. So, uh, so long as that light's flashing, you have charge going, and then the sergeant system prioritises which battery it goes to. It's not the solar controller that prioritises that. It's prioritised downstream of this unit. So don't worry about only having a connection to one battery. It does indeed have two batteries, and it does charge them both, but it does it in a clever way.